I'm sitting here admiring this set of Bosch fuel injectors recently removed from an 83 300D. These things look almost brand new. You know, they were removed from a car in a wrecking yard. And I know you enthusiasts out there, you often wonder, well, how do these cars end up in wrecking yards? Anyway, I've seen some in wrecking yards, I swear, like, man, why did this, why did this get in here? I'm sure I could fix this up. But when, when I got a hold of these fuel injectors, I realized these are very recent replacements. But upon further inspection, I bet I can guess why that 300D ended up in the wrecking yard. You look at these tips and you can see severe burning around the out. And in fact, this particular injector here is really bad. Part of the edge of the nozzle is burned right off. Now, anybody want to guess out there how this could happen on injectors that look almost brand new? Well, let me give you my speculation. This engine was run on gasoline. Yep, that's right. A lot of times, I think more than anyone wants to admit, there's a lot of diesels out there that have had gasoline run through them. And whether or not it does damage on the car depends on a couple factors. Number one, the, the ratio of gasoline to diesel and the type of driving. In some cases, if you get almost all gasoline in the tank and you drive the car hard, this is the type of thing that can result. And imagine what probably the top of the pistons look like as well. So if you suspect or you know or maybe you've even put gasoline in your diesel by accident and driven it, one of the first things you want to do is just pull the injectors out and see if there's any burn marks on the tips of the nozzles. If that's the case, then you might have some other issues that you have to deal with. But in all the ones I have been involved with, and it's quite a few, you end up usually just having to drive the car over a longer period of time and see what type of uh, things crop up. If, if the pistons are damaged after a few hundred miles or a few thousand miles, you'll probably start to get some piston noise, some rattling in the engine, indicating that you've damaged the pistons. So all I can say is, hey, be real careful. Uh, it's easy to do when your mind's on something else, particularly if you also drive a gasoline car. Um, you know, be very careful. Do not get gasoline in your diesel.